Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I'm so glad you could join me. Today I'm going to be using the Whimsy Stamps Sympathy Silhouette Stamp Set. This is a fabulous stamp set and you can purchase the dies separately. The dies cut out the words and the flowers, which is really nice. I'll also be using the Mini Slimline Notched Hot Foil Plates and the Mini Slimline Notched Dies. The dies fit around the hot foil plates perfectly so you could cut them out after you're done hot foiling them. You could see how nice it fits around the edge of the hot foil plate. Today I'm going to share with you what I do when my hot foiling doesn't come out exactly the way I want it to. Let's face it, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has mishaps with their hot foiling or maybe I am, I don't know. <laughs> So let's get started so I can show you my little trick. I start out by taking a piece of Spellbinder Glimmer Silver Matte Foil that I cut down to size and then I heat up my glimmer machine. I'm using the second largest hot foil die. I lay it flat side down on the glimmer machine. I place the piece of foil on top of it, decorative side down. As you can see, I already used this piece of hot foil once before, but because this die is smaller, I can reuse the foil for this one so I don't waste all of the good foil. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I lay two pieces of cardstock and the cutting plate on top of it, and I press the start button and wait about a minute for it to stop flashing. Now I did it this way on purpose so my hot foiling wouldn't come out perfect so I can show you my little trick. When the light stops flashing, I take the whole thing out of the glimmer machine and then I run it through my Spellbinder die cut machine and I just kind of run it back and forth um, a couple of times. And then I put it back into my hot foil machine to keep it hot in case I wanna foil some more. I take off the cutting plate and the extra piece of paper and then I very carefully peel off the silver foil. As you can see it came out pretty nice but it didn't foil perfectly around the edges but that's okay we're going to fix it a, a little later on. I use the magnetic handle that comes with the machine to take the hot foil plate and let it cool down. Here I just want to show you that you can use this entire piece of foil without wasting any of it. You can just take all of these smaller hot foil plates and just keep running them through the hot foil machine until you use up all of the foil so you have no waste at all. Next I'm going to use the second largest mini slimline die to cut it out. I just put it all around the border of the foil and I tape it down so it doesn't move around and then I run it through my die cut machine. I'm going to do some ink blending in a small area only. So I put some painter's tape to make a rectangle where I want to ink blend. I use my ruler to make sure that I get a straight rectangle. I put tape down on both sides of my paper as well so that I don't get any ink where I don't want it to go. I also rub the painter's tape on my pants so it's not so sticky. Using my Distress Oxide inks, I start by putting some chip sapphire on the bottom of the rectangle and then I just kind of work my way up and then I put some prize ribbon in the middle and then I just put some blueprint sketch at the top and I just keep ink blending until I have the desired look that I want. When I'm done, I carefully pull off all of the painter's tape, making sure to pull it off on an angle so it doesn't tear any of my paper. Now here is where I fix my hot foil. After looking at it, I decided instead of throwing it away, I would make the whole border distressed looking. So I took my sand eraser and I very gently went around the whole border and I erased a little bit of the hot foil to match where it didn't hot foil properly and I just keep doing this until I have the desired look that I wanted. I really loved how it turned out because I just love when things look distressed. Okay so now I'm going to stamp my floral image over the ink blending that I did. First I rub my paper with my embossing powder bag and then I stamp it with some black VersaFine ink. I do stamp it quite a few times since I am stamping over a dark blue color and I want it to stand out. I pour 
some clear embossing powder over it and then when my heat tool is good and hot I heat emboss the image. Next I repeat the same exact process for embossing the sentiment. At this point I decided I wanted to put a decorative border around the card front so I used the largest die from the mini slimline notch stitch die set and I cut it from some black card stock. I also wanted to raise up my card front so I cut some craft foam that I had and I trimmed it down to size. You can also use some foam tape if you want to. And then I adhere the foam tape to the card front and then I adhere the card front to the piece of black card stock. And then I adhered the card front to a piece of white card stock that I cut to six and one eighth by six and a half. And then I scored it at three and a quarter. And to finish off my card, I had some confetti from this calls for confetti called Whimsy. And it's an exclusive to Whimsy stamps. I just love Lisa's confetti. She has some really great mixes and you should really check them out. And I just adhere some randomly onto my card front. And that will complete my card for today. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the card. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and new product releases. As always, thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.